Welcome to the Science Kid. Oh wait, let me go turn on the lights. Ah, that feels better. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we are gonna talk about a table. <laughs> it's not this table, or this one, or even this one. It's not this table, or this table, or this table, or even this table. It's not this table either. Or your table. We are going to talk about the periodic table of elements. Before you watch this awesome video, you should check out my other awesome video about atoms. Just click on the I think like right up there. Yeah, there we go. Now first, what is an element? An element is a pure substance that is made of one type of atom. We use elements to form every other type of matter on our planet. Elements can't be broken up into anything smaller. Elements are the basic building blocks on our planet. Now, the table we were talking about in the beginning is not an actual table table. The periodic table is a chart that charts every single element that we know of. Each element is classified into a row and column and is in a specific spot. The periodic table is one of the most sophisticated charts. The first periodic table was created in 1869 by a Russian chemist named Dmitry Mendeleev. However, since the first periodic table, another 60 different <laughs> elements have been founded, and scientists keep reorganizing the table to fit new elements. There are 118 different elements, like iron, oxygen, hydrogen, and copper. The periodic table is mostly organized by an element's atomic number. The atomic number is how many protons are in the nucleus. As you move from left to right, top to bottom, the atomic number increases and the elements have more protons. If you look at an elemental panel, you'll see the number at the top is the atomic number. The symbol in the middle is the elemental symbol, and the bottom number is the atomic mass, or how much one atom of a certain element's mass is. Each element can mash up with other elements to create a compound. For example, water is a compound of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. That's why we say H2O, which means two H's and one O. Get it? Now you know what one of the most important tables is. <laughs> and by the way, it is not your table. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And also comment what you thought about this amazing episode. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.